whoosh. Ciao. Okay, guys, we're heading. Oh, well, I should say, hey everybody, it's Game Ragi. Jeez, I completely spaced on that one. Anyway, we're headed to Ulthane, but I just noticed this, and I would like to do it. So let's do it. Uh, I need my freaking thing equipped to that. Okay, good enough. I don't know where that goes, but I want to go to it. Uh, I didn't really see another thing nearby, so I'm a little confused here. Maybe it's in here. Oh, jeez, I don't know. I don't know about this. Oh, so noisy. Ooh, let me in. Better not have erased my portal. I'm gonna be rather upset. Jeez, where's another... Well... Pfft. Nuts. Drown pass. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I ported the wrong place. Well, yeah. Let's ride Ruin through here. Anyway. <laughs> so how are you guys today? You enjoying this Darksiders episode? Not much has been happening. I just... Whoa, just... Took me off my mount, did you? Let me in. Yeah, I think my portal got erased. Whatever. I'm sure it's not too big a deal at this stage in the game. Hello. Uh, where are we now? Ooh, another rat. Shot. Perfect. It's just what I wanted. So, yeah, we got all seven pieces of the Armageddon blade. Headed to Ulthane so we can put them together. Because for goodness sakes, it's probably a tricky puzzle. Which piece goes with which, you know? Tricky, tricky puzzle. Stupid fish. You plague me to this day. Yeah. Just gotta get through here. I probably could have poured it a lot closer to Ulthain, but I just... I couldn't remember how to get to him. I'm pretty sure this is how you get to him, so... Eventually. Even... Eventually. Ugh, I gotta do this thing again. Come on. Come on! Yep, see that Volgrim location? I could have poured it right here. Lame sauce. Speaking of Volgrim, uh, after we do this Ulthane thing, I'm gonna do a little shopping. And by a little shopping, I mean a freak load of shopping. Whoops. I guess one is where it was. Get all turned around in here. And actually, uh, remember that weird swordsman guy? I really want to do the rest of his little thing, because I don't really remember what it is, and I think it's interesting. I remember another place you can find him. Oh, thank you. I remember another place you can find him, and it's pretty close, so actually I might do that next. There's the pieces, see if you can fit them together. Beyond me. My greatest work. Until now. What? What do you mean until now? He's just making it again. Uh, 
Oh, unless he's making it better. <laughs> Azrael is spying on us, I guess. <laughs> That's how he puts it together. <laughs> he just crams the pieces together. Hey, Uriel. Why don't you go tell your boyfriend to s just cut it out, you know? Now that is a fine looking blade. So I guess Uriel is gonna go tell her boyfriend to cut it out. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Ooh. Alright, you see that? He has like one eye that's flaming and one that's not. It's just like Abaddon with his crazy eye patch. That's cool. So look at this, we got the Armageddon Blade. Looks really cool. And I believe it counts as a level 4 weapon. So, yeah, all that time you spent leveling your sword, it doesn't matter because you get a level 4 sword before the end, so... Whatever. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they would do that. Reforged by Ulthane, the Armageddon Blade is the only weapon powerful enough to destroy or slay the destroyer. Yep. Okay, so right now we could go and fight the destroyer, pretty much. But instead, I'm gonna go off track and do something else. Because that's what I do. I think it's this way too, so we're gonna go check it out. Oh, check it, check, check it out. Now that we can open these doors by ourselves. Uh, um. I wonder if it's over here. Or what is over here, to be honest. I don't know. Oh my. Oh dear, oh my. Oh, this is the, uh. Yeah, that's the entrance to where we fought the Griever. So, yeah, this is not where I want. I want over here. If I remember right, this is where you fight the swordsman guy the second time. I don't even know if you fight him more than this. Probably you do, but I don't remember where, so... I might have to look that up. But yeah, this is where you fight him, I think. Right? Oh, terribly yep. sorry. I'm terribly sorry. You now. Please don't. You joke. I'm gonna kick your butt. This isn't cricket, this isn't cricket at all. What a goof. He went in his hat and disappeared again. Hmm. Whoa, what? Oh, jeez, that was close. Holy smokes. Here's another Wrath Shard. Okay. So yeah, if you backtrack in this game, you can find a lot of secrets. Just because you have all these different ways to get around now. Uh, but shoot, I really don't remember. Uh, here, let me check really quick. Okay, well, apparently, he you can fight him four times in this game, and every time you fight him, he gives you more souls. So, I think it goes up to... Was it 2,000 for beating him? Uh... I don't know. Eh, it's not really that important. <laughs> so... I don't think I'll fight him the other two times. Uh, but I will tell you where they are. One of them is at the Twilight Cathedral entrance. When, after you get the Abyssal Chain, you can cross over to fight him. And the other one is in the Choking Grounds. So you actually have to move a tomb to get to him. So... Yeah, I'm just... I'm not really thinking I'm going to do that. 
Just cause I have plenty of souls and I'm not really going for 100%, so it's bleh. Bleh, I say bleh. Okay, well. Let's see, what did I do in this episode? <laughs> oh, I talked to Ulthane. Oh, that's right. Okay, now we gotta go shopping. So let's go find Volgrim really quick. This part is going to be exciting for me, maybe not exciting for you guys. Just because, where am I going? This is not where to go. Oh my god. Because shopping is exciting. When you have a lot of souls. Shopping is exciting when you have a lot of souls. Shopping is exciting when you have a lot of souls. It is. It, it really is. Don't believe me? Plus we get to trade in our overlord artifact that gives us something crazy. If I remember right. I say that a lot, if I remember right, but it's true. It's that's what I mean to say. I don't really know another way to say it, so I just keep saying the same thing. Whatever. Okay. Hope. Well, we are pretty much at the end of this game, guys. Like, I could seriously see maybe one more episode after this. That's it, you know? That's all she wrote for Darkseid. is just crazy because I'm recording this the week before I go to California, and I don't... Honestly, don't think this is gonna last through the entire week, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe record some Beyond Good and Evil or something. <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. Seven artifacts to trade in. Let's do it. What was that? 55 and Wrath Core for the Overlord one. Jeez, we have 25,000 souls right now. Oh boy, it has been a while. I'm just gonna buy this Wrath Core. And see, we can only buy one, so. Might as well buy this Wrath Shard. Get two of them, though. Um. I'm not gonna buy any of these consumables, although they might be helpful. I, I have quite a few. I'm just. Yeah, it's not necessary. Um. Dude, <laughs> I don't even know. Oh man. I, re I honestly don't remember the boss fight, so I don't know which of these would be the most effective. I mean, we have the Abyssal Armor now, so I'm not too worried about damage taken. I'm more worried about damage given, and I'm pretty sure we're not going to use the Scythe or the gauntlets for any, any real fighting. <laughs> so maybe I should just upgrade my wrath abilities. That might be good. Stone skin. Excellent choice. Hmm. Only a light man. You know what? Heck, let's just get one of these. Um See anything you like. Damage over time or Enemies that are near me get burned. This is more if I'm surrounded, right? So, I don't know if that'd be really useful. This might be really good on a boss. I gotta... I think I'm gonna get that. And upgrade it. Okay, I'm almost out of souls now. <laughs> and... Heck, let's just get Ricky, Ricochet, because I never got it. Jeez, we are loaded now. Let me set... Wait a minute. Oh, what? You can't equip this sword with a... <sighs> what the heck? Alright, I'm gonna have to set this to something here. Boost Chaos Gain, buy the Chaos Eater sword. I don't have that sword. Goose weapon experience. Yep, I'm gonna replace that one. So, where are you? Jeez, 
you can't equip a thing to this Armageddon blade. That's kind of lame. Okay. So, now we're going to port all the way to Leviathan's Drift. I will see you guys on the other side. Okay guys, here we are. Leviathan's Drift. Just a hop, skip, and jump away from Azrael himself. So, I guess I'll just end this episode here, because we've done quite a bit. Um, so yeah. In the next episode, we'll get to talk to Azrael, maybe even fight the Destroyer, and kick his butt, and then just complete this game. Let's play will end. Maybe. And I, I, I honestly don't know if we just go straight to him or if there's a dungeon, so... Neither case, I will see you guys next time.